What's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. We're starting this one off in the gym, something that I normally don't do. Uh, but today what we're doing is we are hitting some squats. We have one set today on squat, 340 pounds. And the program says to get it for four to six reps. I'm working on something with my squat. Let's see how this goes. Roll the clip. There it is, that's it. Squat. Chest up, there you go. Two. There you go, push back into the bar on the way up. There you go, there's three. So those squats guys, they felt amazing. The best they ever have. If you watch this, the footage right here, you might notice my chest is a little bit more upright. So 340 today, easy five reps. Now something that I'm gonna talk about, if you've watched my squat for years, like this has been my, my Achilles. The, the biggest problem that I have is my chest dumping forward on like pretty much any time I go above 315, 365, 405 definitely, uh, my chest falls forward. So this is something, that I didn't really ever think about. Like you hear cues all the time, right? Like some people might say, oh, keep your lats tight, keep your lats tight. Well, I finally heard a cue that registered with me when I was thinking about how I could fix this problem. So this is a PVC pipe right here. Now what I'm doing when I squat from now on is I'm trying to bend, see the PVC pipe bending? I'm trying to do this with the barbell. I'm trying to literally bend the bar over my back. Bend it just like this, over my back. And this was like my first real day trying it out. And I can already tell a huge difference. So another thing you guys haven't seen me do on this channel in years is conventional deadlift. And I just hit my first set, five reps. I haven't touched four or five on conventional deadlifts in a really long time. But this is what happened. I go and I do something different. And look at this, blood all over the bar. Thankfully, it's my gym and I'll make sure I clean it up. But uh, I forgot about that. When you do conventional deadlifts, your shins are like a cheese grater to the bar. And it's just like, ugh. Just like with the squat guys, I'm doing the exact same thing here with the conventional deadlift. PVC pipe again for illustration because I can't bend a 45 pound barbell. I wish I could, that'd be pretty sick. I'm just gonna take the bar here and instead of bending it down, I'm gonna bend it behind my shins. And when you do that, my elbows turn a little bit, my chest is a little bit more upright, and I now understand what it means to have upper back tightness set to four to six reps. Let's go. Come on, come on. Hang on one more, one more. There it is. Woo! It's a bloodbath, dude. Holy buckets. That's disgusting. Workout is done, guys. A little quick thing here. I'm sitting here at the gym desk, and uh, they emailed me something for the loan saying you gotta, you know, take this quiz. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll take a quiz. No problem. It's no problem at all. Um, I love quizzes. I haven't been to school in a really long time, but I'll do it. And then this is this is the the thing that I just don't understand. Is like, you take a quiz, which is already bad enough. You know how much the quiz costs for a framework online home buyer course in English? It is only seventy five dollars. Now, I'm not gonna be one to just be like, look, you guys are kind of nickel and diming me, but let's just be honest, that's some, part of my language, that's just bullshit right there to, to charge $75 for a quiz so I can waste my whole day on it and then spend more money and give them more money on interest. It's just like, hey, shout out Fannie Mae or whoever the hell you are. So guys, take a look at everything that I pretty much own. Look at that, can you guys see Walter White over there? You got the Walter White painting. You got this cool little bookshelf I got on Amazon. I bought this rug. I've got old clothes. These are actually gym clothes. Look at that, we got an Obtain Strength hat, the OG logo. 
Christmas tree, my golf clubs, and uh, we are actually at the house right now, the house that I'm getting ready to move into. I've been at that hotel since August 8th, so everything has been inside of this garage. So the movers, they were nice, or not the movers, the, the home builders, they were nice and said, hey, you can move everything into this garage. It has to stay in the garage. You can't move anything in yet until you officially close. So this is, it actually worked out nice. I mean, it's not an ideal situation staying in a hotel for like 40 days, uh, but it worked out nice. We can put our stuff in here. I came here to pick up some new cookbooks. I sold out of cookbooks. You guys have been buying them like crazy and I'm having so much fun shipping them. And I just, I like doing it. I could have it all fulfilled and have someone else do it all, but I enjoy enjoy like the process and like being very hands-on with it this is uh this is the garage door we got a three-car garage that we're inside of look at these cool little buttons and uh this is all i'm going to show you guys of the house ready this is all you see until i move in i'll do a full tour oh my gosh there's a floor oh my gosh there's a wall there's a little thingy right there when you walk in with little handles and that's all i'm gonna show you guys one more peek Okay. As soon as we move in, guys, you know I'm gonna make a video. One thing that I will show you guys, we're gonna go over here. I don't know what's in here, actually. I've never been in there. Oh, that's a water heater, hot water heater. Uh, you got my bed, you got all the, the clothes for my lady. You got receipts here for taxes. Who loves taxes? I love taxes. This is something that's built off the garage. You come in here. I've actually seen Black Widow spiders inside of the garage and all of our stuff has been sitting in here. But this is like a really weird room. I call this the kill room. I'm just kidding. I, this was like a home that someone else was gonna buy and it fell through, but um, I guess this was a, the man cave. It's just super bizarre. It's got AC in here. It's got plumbing, it's got cable. So whoever was gonna buy this probably had a family and he just was like, look, I wanna get away from everyone. Uh, this is like a, a cool little storage room built off the garage. And in this box, guys, you've got sidewalk cleaner and a blender and peanut butter, which has been sitting outside and thankfully this room's ac but uh there's the food section over there which i'm gonna have to throw everything away but uh yeah i'm just ready to move in here and get out of the hotel i've been staying at but you know what guys to appreciate the sun you gotta know what rain is So we got another fresh box of books. I think pretty much this whole box is gonna be sent out with these that I've got right here. I got some to sign. Uh, Post-workout, I picked up one of these at the gas station, just a little muscle milk, 40 grams of protein. And then I got two of these right here. You got your Belveda cinnamon brown sugar. These are actually delicious. I love these things. Very good. I'm gonna rock out to the new Logic. I've been feeling Logic lately. I'm not like a huge Logic fan. I mean, I kind of am. I've listened to him for a long time, but it's like, mm, do I like him, do I not? Sometimes I do, sometimes I not. He's just very like diverse and I like some of his songs. So time to ship these bad boys. Books coming to you guys. I got a lot to sign as well. And if you guys missed the last video, if you want me to sign one, order one on the website below, leave a note, write who you want me to make it out to and I will sign it. I have like 20 to 30 books to sign right now. It's gonna be fun. finished up the books I actually ran out of these little like packing envelopes and I have signed books to send right here ready to go I just have to get some more of those and look what I did guys I didn't show you this check this out these are my two little pieces of art when I was on like a little month-long hiatus I got into art so you got this one it's kind of like a cool drip painting and then I'm probably gonna hang this one over the house it's gonna think it's so so sick it's like got layers and layers and layers of stuff and there's some red it might be a little aggressive but you know what guys I did it. I think it's really sick. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but really happy with it. And this weird room that I've been shipping the books from, guys, so the purple wall over here, we got an orange wall, and then over there's a green wall. This is actually gonna be the uh, the new addition to the gym. You might be like, wow, that looks like it's a piece of crap. Well, guess what, guys? This wall here is gonna go out right here, this like odd kitchen. Um, I'm gonna clear out all this, or the landlord has to. This is gonna be a new storage room, so all this is gonna be open, and then this 
is actually gonna be, this whole wall right here is gonna be gone. So it's gonna be a pretty big room. And then through here, we're actually adding showers. There's gonna be more bathrooms that way through this door. They have to build some walls and stuff. But uh, that is the, the plan. And then upstairs, going up this way, this is upstairs. Uh, I'm actually gonna convert this into like a little chill zone, so like a couch and a TV when I end up leasing this side. Uh, workspace here, so if I got buddies here that are like self-employed and wanna kinda of have like an office, it's gonna kinda of be like the chill zone up here, and I'm not gonna do anything with that over there. And then I forgot to mention, there's gonna be a door frame added right here. So this is gonna be locked, so obviously no one can come up, because I'll probably like, I'll probably keep like my PS4 here and stuff, just so I can, you know, hang out and game sometimes. All right, dude, how do you open this? Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay guys, it is the next day. It's actually present day as you guys are watching this right now. I was just gonna film an outro, but I got this new package. And it's a cool package in the sense of, so next year, 2019, I'm gonna kinda like start the gym over in the sense of we're gonna rebrand. So this is gonna be the new logo. The gym has evolved a lot. Like as from the first location, we had our original logo, then we had the second one a little bit more updated with the cursive font. And now we're gonna go with this one right here. I just feel like this fits like the, the image of the gym very, very well. And I have new hats. I'm a big hat guy. You guys saw the hat earlier in the video. I have new hats. You ready for this, dude? Ready. Oh yeah, dude. Can they see that, dude? So this is the new OS logo. I actually designed this myself. I sketched it out a lot, and then I, I came up with this. It looks freaking badass. And then the other hat that we got in, like a, uh, a olive green color with the, uh, with the updated uh, gym logo on there, guys. So 2019, we're gonna be rebranding the gym, new logos, and a whole lot of other stuff. And that's where I'm gonna wrap the video up. I wanted to show you guys this. If you guys want a cookbook, go down below in the description grab you one and steve let's tell him that story dude what's that five years ago you bought my first cookbook i did the very first day he was a out. subscriber yeah and now he helps me with the marketing yeah og subscriber god bless you buddy sign us out tell him to like the video dude like the video click the link down below to get you a cookbook and see you in the next video peace out dude peace out